Welcome to Biology Exams for You, site dedicated for supporting students preparing for different competitive exams in life sciences. In this video, we are going to give you a brief idea about how to prepare for ICR NET ARS exam. This time, ICR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, is conducting two exams. First is ICR National Eligibility Test and the second exam is ICR Agricultural Research Service. ICR NET is meant for determining eligibility for lectureship across various agricultural universities in India. And remember this is equivalent to CSER UGC NET. Second exam ICR ARS. It is, this is the only exam in India that allow you to become a scientist directly with your MSc qualification. Remember for both this exam you have to apply separately. Now, now we are going to discuss in detail about the first exam that is ICR National Eligibility Test. This exam is a single paper test comprising of multiple choice questions, maximum marks 150, duration 2 hours, you will be having 150 objective type multiple choice questions, each question carries 1 mark and all the questions are from your respective discipline, 1 by 3rd mark will be detected for each wrong answer. So, take care while making some uh, uh, errors without. Then, minimum marks required for qualifying this exam is 60% for general and OBC. Uh, SCST physically challenged person, 50% is enough. Now, let us have a look into some of the questions that appeared in uh, previously. Which of the following pairs are anomalous? Rebulose, glucose and mannose, pyruvate lactase, beta alpha D glucose and beta D glucose. You know that alpha D glucose and beta D glucose is the answer. Then hybridoma technology is used for the production of. You know that this technology is meant for producing monoclonal antibodies. Then for mitochondrial structure and function, mtDNA specifies. You know majority of the genes are coded by nuclear genes, so mitochondrial DNA codes less than 10 percent. Which of the following? Reagents is useful for visualizing DNA. You know that ethidium bromide is the answer. So you now from this you know that the all these questions are direct questions. You just want to know it. Uh, that is it. Unlike CSIR. Now, how to, second part? How to prepare for ICAR ARS exam? As I mentioned, this is the only exam in India that allow to, allow you to become a scientist directly with your MSc qualification. Now regarding the exam pattern, this exam is similar to that, the pattern is similar to that of IAS exam. You have a preliminary comprising of 150 marks with a duration 2 hours, objective type questions. Then a second part, if you qualify, you, uh, you can write second part, ARS main descriptive type, maximum marks 240, duration 3 hours. And if you qualify there also, you will be called for an interview. Uh, which is uh, of 60 mark and a final list will be published and you will be recruited somewhere uh, in ICR Institute across India as scientist. Now first part of this exam this is the preliminary ARS examination paper comprising of 150 marks 2 hours 1 by 3rd marks will be detected for each wrong answer and this is a qualifying exam examination and uh, this will not be counted for final selection so you just have to cross the cutoff mark in order to appear for descriptive exam. Uh, this is the ARS main examination paper. If you are qualified the first pre preliminary exam you will be allowed to write this exam. Uh, this comprises of 250 marks duration 3 hours and this paper is divided into 3. Part A consists of 40 questions of 2 marks each. Part B comprises of 20 questions of 5 marks each and part C comprises of six essay type or descriptive type questions and each question carries 10 mark. Remember in this section you will be provided with a booklet a limited space so you have to write only important points uh, most probably 10 to 15 sentences so prepare notes accordingly uh, prepare imp take important points from each topic write it prepare notes then only you can write clearly in that limited space. Look into some of the previous questions that appeared 
uh, in the descriptive section. Uh, first one, what are genomic li gene libraries? Discuss the utility of genomic libraries. Then the second question is from Acrobacterium mediated gene transfer. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Then compare, these type of questions are very common. Compare and contrast between a number of things will be there. Prokaryotic and eukaryotic ribosomes, southern and northern hybridization, chromosome working, jumping, gene tagging, genome mapping, etc. Then most pro most often a descriptive questions after genetic transformation, what are what are the cells that are formed, how to select such cells. So you will be provided with a limited space, so you have to prepare points in order to write these questions. And then the cutoff for uh, qualifying this exam for uh, ARS exam, preliminary ARS exam 60% marks is enough. For main exam, 55% marks is required. Uh, for a uh, CST uh, physically challenged person category, 50% for both preliminary and mean ARS exam. So prepare well. Prepare as uh, start begin preparation as early as possible. And if you qualify both preliminary exam and main ARS exam, a final list will be prepared and you will be called for an interview. After that, a selection list will be prepared. From that, you will be recruited as scientist in different ARS institutes across India. So best wishes for this exam. For more resources regarding this exam, you can visit our website www.biologyexamsforyou.com. This site will provide you detailed notes, syllabus, exam pattern, previous old question papers, practice tests, books, resources and more. Thanks for watching.